Over 10,000 Kenyans who travel abroad yearly for diagnosis and treatment of various ailments could be saved those trips now thanks to the first ever SPECT CT scanner in Kenya. The scanner, now available at the Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital, is used to diagnose cancer, bone disorders, heart problems, kidney and brain disorders, among other ailments. Patients will have all treatments covered as long as they are members of the National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF. Take a listen. The time it takes to, you know, to, to diagnose, but there's also the turnaround time in terms of how soon you get those result, uh, reports. Uh, a lot of times it, it, it will take like a week, but we, we were able to actually bring that down to two days. The single photon emission computed tomography in combination with the computed tomography, otherwise known as the SPECT CT, is one of the latest technologies in medicine. The machine uses a special type of camera and radioactive tracer to look at organs in the body, allowing the doctor to analyze the function of the internal organs, guaranteeing accuracy and a quick turnaround time in diagnosing different ailments. We do additional processing on these images to um, do what we call a fused image, where we do the nuclear medicine, which gives you the metabolic function, um, and then we add the CT, which gives structural detail. And combining those two gives like more information, more details that is very, sometimes very, or increases the specificity of what we see. The fact that is a, the only one in a, in a public decision in, 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 in Kenya and even East Africa, then it means um, Kenyans will really benefit from it. Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital Board Chair Professor Olive Mugenda says the introduction of the SPECT CT machine is a boost in the war on cancer, especially as the machine is able to detect not just the presence of cancer cells, but also the rate of progression in a patient. The most common reason for a bone scan will be cancer. Uh, so in this patient, the darker areas in the bone will be areas where there's increased turnover. Do additional processing on these images to um, do what we call a fused image. The SPECT CT machine employs cutting edge technology that can diagnose a wide range of disease and ailments with a high level of accuracy, giving patients a fighting chance for ailments that can be fatal if diagnosed late. The machine can scan and assess brain injury with higher accuracy because it can detect reduced blood flow to the injured sites. It can also perform a full body scan at a go. It can also capture how well the heart is working and detect other cardiac diseases such as narrowed or clogged arteries, scar tissue due to heart attacks, inefficient pumping of blood. It can also conduct bone scan for disorders such as less visible bone structures, the presence of bone cancers and how far they have spread on the bone and other bone infections. The machine also assists in the scanning of the kidneys to detect kidney disease, kidney tumors and other ailments affecting the kidney. The type of scan administered depends on the organ in focus. Remember I said the molecule depends on the organ of interest. We do have some organs that one or two molecules could work for them, but most times the name of the scan would indicate the kind of uh, organ we're looking at. So for a bone scan, um, we can look at how the bone works. Professor Mugenda says all Kenyans on the NHIF cover can access services of the SPECT CT machine at no extra out-of-pocket cost as long as their NHIF membership is up to date. As long as you pay the 500 annual civil service, you come here, you walk in here. In fact, we make it so easy because we are the people who now get in touch with the NHIF for that because we want to make it easy for Kenya. Professor Mugenda says the decision to acquire the machine was informed by the need to provide quality yet affordable health care to Kenyans and eliminate the need for traveling abroad in search of diagnosis and treatment. There are so many people who are coming here 
uh, for PET scan, and they would have gone to India. But the trust, uh, of course, the machine is here. The machine is state of the art, is the latest. It's the same mach machine you find in India or, or US because it's coming from the same company. We keep talking of outcomes. The minute people know that the outcomes are good, uh, why do people go to India? Why do people go to Mayo Clinic in the US? It's because you know when you go there, your outcomes are likely to be better. So if we can improve, and that is equipment and personnel, uh, if we can improve on those two and we are really trying, then I can tell you people will start you know, changing the, the, that mentality. Access to quality, affordable and effective essential healthcare services without driving families into poverty is one of the key pillars in universal health coverage. The global burden of disease ranks Kenya at an approximate UHC index of 50%. It is hoped that the setting up of the SPECT CT machine in a public hospital and having the costs covered by the national health insurer NHIF will help Kenya strengthen her health systems and reduce out-of-pocket expenditures. Mary Mwoki, Citizen TV, Nairobi.